Peace. This is a big thing. Peace is when is absence of violence. Peace is justice. Peace is a free justice system. Peace is a non-corruptible and uncorrupt society. Peace to me is a world without conflict in both the international and domestic realm. Peace is a process with justice at its heart. No justice, no peace. For me, peace implies the absence of all forms of violence, being able to live a life without uh, gender-based violence, racism, wars, poverty and nature destruction. Peace to me is strongly connected to human rights. Is living harmony to live without fear, without harm. Peace is for me to renounce on the use of violence. Therefore, I give priority to conflict prevention, disarmament and a caring environment. Security means a lot of things. For example, it means to have no fear to be raped, to have no fear to suffer from gender-based violence. Security means that the aspirations of citizens to have their basic needs met, that is access to social services, um, economic security, so that they're able to meet their daily needs and get a livelihood. So the assurance that everybody can, irrespective of our diversity, participate in society, without fear of harm. Because we are all interconnected and interdependent, the security should be best assured by security of all. Y debería moverse también a garantizar la construcción y la consolidación de los tejidos sociales, que son los que soportan y sostienen la construcción de, una, de paz en los países y también los que generan la transformación social. To realize peace, I feel it is important to move the money from military to education, health and women's empowerment. Allocation should go to providing skills. Military spending should be reallocated to educational programs including civic education, community resilience programs and systems put in place to protect our environment. In order to create long-lasting, sustainable peace, it's essential that decision-makers understand and commit to prioritizing and centering feminist leadership across policymaking and especially in crises. Policymakers need to walk the walk and not just talk the talk.